As the thunderous applause settles, the triumphant echoes of Red Bull's victory continue to resonate across the world of Formula One. Each victory is a testament to their sheer dominance. But amidst this symphony of success, there's a perplexing question that continues to baffle everyone. A question posed by none other than the mastermind behind Red Bull's incredible winning streak, Christian Horner. A question that's beginning to shape the narrative of the 2023 F1 season. But before we dive into that, let's rewind and take a closer look at the astonishing events that have unfolded. Folks, if we were to describe the 2023 Formula One season in two words, they would be Red Bull. Yes, you heard that right. Red Bull Racing has not just been partaking in the races, they've been reigning supreme, carving a legacy of their own. From the tantalizing twists of Bahrain to the grandeur of Miami, they've left their victorious mark everywhere. Painting a picture of their dominance isn't easy, folks. It's not just about the five consecutive wins that they've claimed at the start of the season. It's about how they've done it. It's about Max Verstappen, the young maverick, steering his RB19 beast with an audacious display of skill and tenacity. It's about Sergio Perez, the dependable wingman who's been right at Verstappen's heels, ensuring 1-2 finishes for Red Bull. But amidst the euphoria of this winning streak, Christian Horner seems to be humming a different tune. A tune that's laced not just with the joy of victory, but with a tinge of disbelief. He's not just marveling at his team's unprecedented success, he's also wondering about the silence of the giants, Mercedes and Ferrari. He's asking a question that's on everyone's lips. Where are they? So stay with us as we delve deeper into this intriguing narrative, unearthing what this could mean for the 2023 F1 season and beyond. As we continue our journey through Red Bull's extraordinary performance, let's take a closer look at each race, dissecting the elements that contributed to their unbridled success. Kicking off the season in Bahrain, Max Verstappen set the tone by clinching the top spot on the podium. His unwavering determination and exceptional driving skills left the competition in the dust. Next up, in the scorching desert heat of Saudi Arabia, Sergio Perez steered his way to victory, proving his worth as a formidable contender on the Red Bull team. When the F1 circuit moved to the land down under, the Australian Grand Prix saw Verstappen dominate the track once again. His relentless pursuit of perfection led him to claim the top spot, leaving rivals struggling to keep up. In Azerbaijan, the battle raged on the streets of Baku, with Perez stepping up to secure another win for the unstoppable Red Bull. Finally, at the glamorous Miami Grand Prix, Verstappen emerged victorious yet again, completing a hat-trick of wins for the Dutchman and solidifying Red Bull's supremacy in the world of Formula One. But what's driving this dominance, you might wonder? The answer lies in the RB19, Red Bull's engineering marvel. The car has been meticulously designed, incorporating cutting-edge technology and innovative aerodynamics. Spearheaded by the legendary Adrian Newey, the team's chief technical officer, the RB19 has become the epitome of racing perfection. Yet, despite the astonishing success on the track, Christian Horner appears to be grappling with a sense of disbelief. In his own words, five races, five wins. We've never had a start like this, and we're wondering where are the others? This sense of bewilderment is not unfounded, considering the traditional rivalry between Red Bull, Mercedes and Ferrari. Horner's reaction to this extraordinary success story is a testament to his humble nature and competitive spirit. He recognizes that in the high-stakes world of Formula One, complacency is not an option. While basking in the glory of their victories, Horner remains vigilant, anticipating the challenges that lie ahead and keeping a keen eye on his team's rivals. As we peel back the layers of this thrilling narrative, we uncover a tale of relentless ambition, unmatched engineering prowess, and the unwavering dedication of a team that's truly redefining the limits of possibility in Formula One. Taking a step back, the magnitude of Red Bull's performance this season becomes even more apparent when compared to their past seasons. Historically, Red Bull was a formidable adversary, but not quite the champions they are today. 
Their growth is nothing short of phenomenal, a phoenix rising from the ashes to claim their rightful place at the top. This dramatic shift didn't occur overnight. It's a testament to the team's relentless pursuit of excellence, their ability to learn from past challenges, and their unwavering commitment to improvement. The Red Bull we see today is a product of years of perseverance, innovation, and strategic decision-making. As the dust settles on the latest Formula One races, a conspicuous absence from the top spots on the podium becomes impossible to ignore. Where are Mercedes and Ferrari, the titans of the track? The two giants historically have dominated the sport, each boasting a legacy of champions and a history of race victories. But this season, they seem to have faded into the background, reduced to spectators of Red Bull's grand spectacle. Mercedes, the team that gave us legends like Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, has had a rough start to the season. The Silver Arrows, known for their piercing precision and unmatched speed, have been oddly silent. Their performance has been lackluster, and their usual fighting spirit seems to have been dulled. Is it the new regulations, or is it something else entirely? The answer remains shrouded in mystery. The story isn't much different with Ferrari. The prancing horse, once the epitome of unrivaled speed and unparalleled performance, is also struggling to find its footing. The team that was once home to legends like Michael Schumacher and Nicky Lauda now grapples with the harsh reality of their current situation. It's a bitter pill to swallow for the Tifosi, who are used to seeing their team at the top. One could argue that their car designs, engine performance, or even team strategies may have fallen short. Yet it's hard to pinpoint the exact reasons behind Mercedes and Ferrari's subpar performance this season. But whatever the cause may be, it has left them trailing Red Bull in a way that no one would have predicted at the start of the season. In an unexpected twist, Christian Horner, the man leading the current champions, openly questioned the absence of pace from Mercedes and Ferrari. We've made a normal step over the winter, and it's more, where did Ferrari and Mercedes go? This candid remark not only emphasizes Red Bull's lead, but also challenges the rival teams to step up their game. It's a clear call to arms, a challenge thrown to the wind. Will the Giants rise to the occasion, or will they continue to languish in the shadows of Red Bull's resounding success? There's a sense of anticipation, a hush before the storm. Will Mercedes and Ferrari find their lost rhythm and bounce back? Or is the writing on the wall signaling a season of unchallenged supremacy for Horner's team? Only time will tell. Continuing, our journey through this intriguing narrative takes us to the pivotal topic of upgrades and potential comebacks. Amidst the silence from Mercedes and Ferrari, whispers of major upgrades are beginning to stir in the paddock. These anticipated developments could potentially tip the balance of power and reshape the remainder of the season. Mercedes, the team known for its technological prowess and relentless innovation, is rumored to be working tirelessly behind the scenes. The Silver Arrows are reportedly planning a major upgrade to their W14 car, aiming to resolve the issues that have plagued their performance. The team has a track record of turning the tide mid-season, and their anticipated comeback could well be the shot in the arm they need. Ferrari, not to be left behind, is also brewing something exciting. Known for their dogged determination and resilience, the team from Marinello is said to be preparing a substantial upgrade package. The Scuderia hopes these changes will rekindle the spark in their SF23 and bring back the glory days. Experts are closely monitoring these developments, and the consensus is that these upgrades could be game-changers. But it's not just about the technology, it's about the timing. With the season already in full swing, any delay in implementing these upgrades could be costly. It's a race against time, a race as thrilling as the one on the track. But what does this mean for Red Bull? The current leaders should be wary of the looming threat. For while they've been leading the pack, their rivals have been licking their wounds, planning their comeback. The upcoming upgrades should usher in a resurgence of Mercedes and Ferrari, and the dynamics of the championship could shift dramatically. 
As we approach the midpoint of the season, the anticipation is palpable. The next few races could well be a turning point in this thrilling saga. Will the upgrades give Mercedes and Ferrari the edge they need to turn the tables? Or will Red Bull continue to charge ahead, defying all expectations? The story is far from over, and as we've learned from the history of Formula One, anything can happen. As we delve into the ever-evolving narrative of this Formula One season, an unexpected twist threatens Red Bull's current dominance. A penalty has been imposed on the team due to a breach of the new financial regulations in Formula One. It's a curveball that could potentially disrupt Red Bull's upward trajectory this season. Introduced with the intent of promoting a level playing field, these financial regulations impose a budget cap on teams, limiting their spending on car development. Red Bull, in their unwavering pursuit of excellence and dominance, crossed this fine line. The development and introduction of their new front-wing design earlier in the season pushed them over the budget cap, resulting in the penalty. The repercussions of this financial gamble are now clear. The penalty has placed significant constraints on Red Bull's car development for the remainder of the season. The implications are profound, with potential impacts ranging from limitations on further car improvements to a slowdown in their blistering pace on the track. Experts in the field have voiced their concerns, emphasizing the seriousness of this predicament. This penalty could stall the momentum of the team, allowing their competitors to potentially bridge the gap. It's an unexpected obstacle that Red Bull did not foresee at the beginning of their triumphant run. As a result, the stakes have undoubtedly risen. On one hand, we have Mercedes and Ferrari plotting their comeback, armed with significant upgrades. On the other hand, Red Bull is grappling with the consequences of their imposed penalty, a stumbling block that could throw their championship ambitions off course. In the face of adversity, true champions reveal their mettle, and Red Bull's team principal Christian Horner is no exception. As the penalty looms large over Red Bull, Horner unveils his strategy to weather this storm. This section of our story delves into his unique fresh air approach to the penalty and its potential implications. Faced with the penalty's constraint of a 10% reduction in wind tunnel testing time, Horner is undeterred. Instead of dwelling on the limitations, he chooses to embrace the challenge, focusing on maximizing efficiency and extracting the most from their existing resources. It's a refreshing perspective that highlights the team's resilience and adaptability. However, the reduction in wind tunnel testing time could have tangible consequences for Red Bull. Wind tunnel testing is crucial for aerodynamic development, and this cutback might hinder the team's ability to optimize the car's performance. The constraints imposed by the penalty could lead to slower progress in refining the car's aerodynamics, which in turn might allow their rivals to catch up. Despite this potential impact, Horner's expectations and predictions about the penalty's effect remain optimistic. He acknowledges that the penalty is a hurdle they must overcome, but he is confident in the team's ability to adapt, innovate, and evolve. As they say, necessity is the mother of invention, and this might just be the push Red Bull needs to think outside the box and find novel solutions. The fresh air approach demonstrates Red Bull's willingness to tackle adversity head-on. Instead of wallowing in despair or playing the blame game, they are rallying their forces and preparing for the battles ahead. It's a testament to the team's unyielding spirit, their determination to succeed, and their unwavering commitment to excellence. Despite the penalty and the challenges it brings, Red Bull charges ahead, their spirits unbroken. It's like they're running on an internal combustion engine of confidence and high morale. Within the Red Bull camp, the atmosphere is electric. There's an unspoken agreement among team members and pit crew alike. They're in it to win it. They approach every race, every pit stop, and every turn of the wheel with a single-minded focus and an unwavering belief in their capabilities. This relentless positivity is the fuel that powers their drive, a testimony to their resilience amidst adversity. Three key figures stand at the heart of Red Bull's success story – Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and Adrian Newey. Each has left an indelible mark on the team's journey this season. Verstappen, the young prodigy, has been a force to reckon with, driving with precision and passion that belies his age. 
His performances have been nothing short of stellar, often outmaneuvering his more experienced competitors with apparent ease. Alongside Verstappen, we have Sergio Perez, a seasoned driver known for his consistency and exceptional racecraft. He has provided the perfect foil to Verstappen's youthful exuberance, bringing a balanced strategic approach that complements Verstappen's raw talent. And then there's Adrian Newey, the mastermind behind Red Bull's innovative car designs. His creativity and ingenuity have been instrumental in giving Red Bull the technical edge they needed to lead the pack. Together, these three have become the pillars of Red Bull's success, their contributions underscoring the team's dominance. Their combined efforts have helped create a car that's not just fast, but also reliable, efficient, and supremely drivable. As we conclude our journey through the 2022 Formula One season thus far, it's clear that the landscape is in a constant state of flux. Red Bull has emerged as a dominant force, but the speculation of potential upgrades from Mercedes and Ferrari, coupled with their own imposed penalty, have the potential to reshape the season's trajectory. The beauty of Formula One lies in its unpredictability and high-stakes action. Red Bull's resilience, innovation and determination have been central to their success. But as the season unfolds, it remains to be seen whether they can maintain their grip on the championship. In this ever-changing world of Formula One, one thing is certain – an exhilarating second half of the season awaits us all. So stay tuned to our channel for all the latest updates, insights and analysis. Join us as we continue to explore this captivating motorsport saga, where every race is a new chapter and every moment can make or break a team's championship dreams.